Plaza Hotel and Casino on the Boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Tonight, Don King Productions presents World Championship Boxing. This bout is presented with the approval of the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner, Larry Hazard. Chairman, Jerry Gormley. Deputy Commissioners, Nick B. Balistrari and Lawrence Wallace. It is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. At ringside, President Robert W. Lee. The ringside supervisor, Bill Brennan. The World Boxing Council is represented by President Jose Suellen. And representative of that organization, Dr. Elias Cano. The World Boxing Association is President Gilberto Mendoza at ringside, along with James Jacobs, Esquire Legal Counsel, and Championship Committee Chairman, Dr. Elias M. Cordova. The three judges for this contest, John Stewart, Eva Shane, and Rocky Castellani. Chief ringside physician, Dr. Frank B. Dawkin. Also on ringside, Dr. Stanley Eden and Dr. Charles Wilson. The timekeeper, Roosevelt Gilbert. And coming for the knockdown seconds, Joe Cortez. And the referee is Frank Cappuccino. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, two special introductions. First, in the ring at this time, the gentleman responsible for bringing this spectacular event to Atlantic City, and I would like him to be properly acknowledged. He's a man whose success in business epitomizes the American dream. The author of the year's best-selling book, The Art of the Deal, his vision and accomplishment make him the quintessential entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, New Jersey thanks him, our host, for this great evening of championship boxing, Mr. Donald J. Trump. And another gentleman in the ring. In 1960, an Olympic gold medal winner. In 1964, the heavyweight championship. 10 years later, again, the world heavyweight champion. And in 1979, he won it an unprecedented third time, perhaps, he is the greatest of all time, ladies and gentlemen, the former three-time heavyweight champion of the world, Mohammed Ali. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, let's get ready to rumble 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim, and weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now lives in Wilmington, Delaware. This. Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 21 by knockout. He is the former undisputed and undefeated late heavyweight champion of the world and the only king of that division ever to win the heavyweight title in the history of boxing. Because he never lost that title in the ring, he is still recognized by many, including Boxing Illustrated and Ring Magazine, as the heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the jigs, Michael Speed. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks, and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Brooklyn. He passed through the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Costamato, Catskill, New York, and he now lives in North New Jersey. His professional record, 34 consecutive victories with 30 knockouts, including 26 KOs in five rounds or less, and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, This crowd is ready for it. 
Bob Sheridan here on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. As Frank Cappuccino calls him in, let's listen. We're both giving their instructions in the dressing room. Are there any questions by either of you? All right, both of you touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Millions and millions of dollars on the line. Billions of people literally around the world watching this fight. Hope you're enjoying it. Mike Tyson ready to go against Michael Spinks at stake, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. This is a 12-round fight. This is the only guy who many people think have an opportunity to do something against Iron Mike Tyson. Tyson dressed in his black trunks, no socks, no real flashiness to anything but his boxing. Michael Spinks, on the other hand, dressed in his uh, white trunks with the black trim, the white shoes, and we're just about ready to go. The opening bell, let's see what happens. Tyson attacks immediately, cuts off the ring, throws a wild right hand. This is round one, what just on the way. Spinks not able to hold him off so far with the jab. He tries to come back at him, but Tyson walks right through it. Tyson showing no fear, no respect at all here in round one. And Michael Spinks has to hang on to the first time of the fight. Frank Cappuccino has to separate the two. Absolutely no fear and no respect by Tyson for any jabs or anything that Mike Spinks can do. Tyson just looking for the opportunity to land a vicious left hook and then a right hand. While well, Michael Spinks was successful against Larry Holmes, an aging Larry Holmes, and he was successful against the guy that hadn't fought in a long time in Jerry Cooney, the right hand lands to the head of Mike Spinks. It's Tyson all the way 